Uh, so here's a quick look at the Trippy Outdoor uh, folding, well, it's folding, a sliding two-part chair. It's hard to explain, but it's basically their camp chair. Um, gives, just uh, set this up actually on my decking just to give you an idea of the size, but actually I tested it yesterday on a, the shore of a lake. But it's basically two pieces of wood. So you've got a, uh, a laminated piece of wood here. That's the main part. And then the seat part that goes around the back here um, goes through a hole just here. And it's just tension that holds it up. Um, but then let me just zoom back out so you can have a better look. So it's tension that kind of just holds it as is. Uh, Strength-wise, it can easily hold one person. I think the rating on the website says up to a thousand pounds of weight, so it's more than capable of dealing with the weight of uh, a single person sitting on it. And it is surprisingly comfy. I sat in it yesterday for quite a few hours uh, during a fundraising event for my search and rescue um, team that I'm part of, uh, and it's surprisingly comfy, even to the point where I think I could possibly fall asleep in it as well, which is great. Um, it's beautifully well made. Uh, it's actually made in Texas, so it's uh, and in fact I think my, uh, they come with a little sticker to tell you exactly who made it, which is awesome. And then when you're finished with using it, uh, instead of these sort of folding type chairs, you simply slide this section out that way, and then round the back, he said, grabbing it, is a little um, little bracket here that holds it when it's deployed down like this, but also that same post here will then slide into that bit there. And through a process of something clever that I haven't quite taken the time to look at as close enough, it somehow seems to lock in really well. So it just kind of sits there at the back. It doesn't slide in and out when you're carrying it. And then from a carrying point of view, you can carry it from the handles at the top here. But there's also handles on the side. So I tend to just carry it um, uh, sideways, almost like a miniature surfboard. And that is pretty much it. Um, it weighs about seven pounds, uh, maybe a little bit more than seven pounds. Um, you know, this isn't the, the chair that you take with you if you're a through hiker or a super lightweight freak, you know, on an adventure for a couple of days. Uh, this is the chair that you take with you in the back of the car or the van or the truck uh, that, you know, you sit around the campfire and you're kind of camping out of your vehicle rather than camping out of a backpack. But uh, it's a really nice piece of kind of, it's a, it's a really nice combination of kind of luxury uh, for a seat, it's unusual. It's got this design element, which I really love about it, uh, and it comes in quite a few eye-catching designs. I've actually gone for the kind of big outdoorsy kind of design, um, and it sounds like a weird thing to say, but it's finished in a very translucent colour, so you can still see some of the grain coming through, and it's uh, finished. The outer coat is some kind of satin, um, satin sort of varnish or finish, and it's just really nice. Uh, it, it's tactile, it feels really nice and it's comfortable to sit on. There's ever such a slight curve to the wood here, it's just very comfortable and um, it's surprisingly comfortable on the bum as well. So there you go, uh, this is a super quick look at the uh, Trippy Outdoors uh, camping chair. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel, it's super helpful um, and I'll put a link in the description below to a more in-depth blog that I've written as well as a link to the lowest online prices. So there you go.